So today we're going to be talking about ratchet ethnic people. I love all races, don't get me wrong, but there's a certain sect of people that just <laughs> rock my world. This past week has had some of the most like what the fuck moments that I've seen. There's a clear difference between being just an ethnic person, being multicultural, and being ghetto. This is being ethnic. This is being ghetto. See, there's a clear difference. So today we're going to be talking about the three most ghetto moments that I've seen in the past week. And we're going to clock the fucking tea because it needs to be clocked. Okay, so if you didn't know, Memorial Day is for fallen soldiers that have died in the U.S. Armed Forces. And we celebrate that um, at the end of May. I don't know how that translates to, let's all go to Miami and be ratchet. I can't tell you how many texts and phone calls and wall posts I saw on Facebook. Oh my god, it's getting live in Miami! I gotta get my bathing suit. I gotta go get my new outfit. Um, I hope y'all are gonna go celebrate the soldiers. Cause it's like, what are y'all remembering? I don't know if that's just a South Florida thing. I mean, if it's different somewhere else, Please feel free to let me know. I just don't understand why that's the one time where everyone wants to act ghetto. I'm gonna name it Colored Folk Memorial Day because that's the only time I want to see black people at the beach. So You Think You Can Dance is one of my favorite shows on television because as you guys know, I am a dancer. Always can't wait for every summer when it premieres. And this premiere did not disappoint me at all. Aisha. <laughs> Let me just play the clip. Well, I have secrets. I used to be a stripper. So that's where my booty popping come from. Oh my gosh. Speechless. I love her so much. She had one of the best spirits on the show that I've seen in a long time. Like, I know all of America was laughing at this chick. But she kept going on. Honey was shaking that ass. <laughs> yeah, two different lace fronts on for two different sections. And they were like back to back rainbow makeup, bow legged, parrot toe. I'm not even gonna talk about her mouth because that was that wasn't her fault. She was born that way. But well who tells these people, oh, this is okay, oh, go go audition for so you think you can dance. I also wanna know what fucking strip club she worked at because that's why I don't go to female strip clubs, because that's the kind of ratchetness I would see. I'm kind of jealous, to be honest. At least she got on TV. Speaking of lace fronts, I want to know... <laughs> why has, in the recent years, this become, like, some kind of, like, phenomenal trend that ladies want to use? If you're not Beyonce, and even she has some rough moments, let's, let's point that out. Please do not be wearing no lace front and having it, you know, this is your hairline, this... The circle around your head is their hairline. No one's hairline is a oval. I don't care what you say. Please just go back to being bald headed. There's nothing wrong with that. I would rather you be bald headed than walking around with a tore up lace front. The lace front movement needs to end. Thank you, Dorna, for showing me this link. All the women being I was having a bad day, I'm not even gonna lie, and when I saw this, it just made me feel so much better about myself. This video is like, people of Walmart, colored folk edition. What's your name? What's your number, girl? How the hell do they shake their asses like that? My favorite part is when the girl is in the aisle shaking her asses and eating. Walmart. I'm so jealous of her because secretly I've always wanted to go to Walmart and like open something and like get fed and then put it back on the shelf. At least the two girls were kind of cute, like their bodies were cute, they had nice butts and all that. Obviously not my cup of tea. It was all fine and dandy until he started bringing out this one chick. Mm -mm. She kind of ruined the video for me. Nowadays all the girls are at Walmart so that's where you gotta go to pick up chicks. Oh I didn't know that, well maybe that's why I'm single because I'm not taking my ass to Walmart. They need to get my homegirl until you think you can dance some lessons because she would have made it if she did that. I know Nigel would have been like... So the moral of this blog is, one, educate yourself on Memorial Day. Please don't just go to Miami to try to be ratchet for no reason. Two, if you're going to go until you think you can dance, 
please get a proper lace front, some dance lessons, and a cuter outfit. And three, Walmart is the place to be if you want to get some booty. That rhyme. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Please, 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 please. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, all that good stuff. I'm posting the links. Uh, with that being said, have an awesome, amazing June. I can't believe it's June already. Oh my God. Speaking of lace fronts, my hair is looking so busted today. Oh my God.